who's the other guy you were going to tell me about? The, the man who directed Spider Baby and Switchblade Sisters and discovered Pam Greer, the Jack Hill, this really great director. Jack Hill is... Uh, you're probably drawing a blank again, which yeah. is like doing a self-portrait. I've done that myself, but I mean, this is the kind of guy you walk up. <laughs> you can walk up to anybody on the street and they go, oh, Jack Hill, Jack Hill. I mean, it's, it's a household word. Jack I mean, Hill? I mean, you, you can ask, pick somebody randomly. Yeah. Quentin, how about Quentin Tarantino, for Is example? Quentin Jack Hill? I just Here's a told man on the you street. Who Jack Hill was. All right, I'm sorry. In segment. All right. You asked me who his directors do I like, and I said Jack Hill, and you're asking him who's Jack Hill? Well, that was a long time ago. Yeah. It was three segments ago. Now, also, I, I just have to say one thing, especially if Jack Hill's watching. I mean, you know, Jack Hill is, is a really terrific director. I mean, he really is great. I mean, you know, his scripts... I get that. That's why you're ganging up on Yeah, his, 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 his scripts are really funny, and he's a really talented man. I mean, I'm a big, big fan of his work. Jack, Jack Hill! Jack Hill. Oh, All right. You're going to sit down and You know, don't you? You lived with him. You get out of here. Right now. Go on. Get out of here. Get out! So you want to play with knives, huh? Well, you picked the wrong player. No. No, please, look, I didn't mean nothing. Please! Ow! No, I'm going to give you another slice to match the one you got from that dog pushing pimp. Unless you tell me where he keeps the stuff. No, please. He'll kill me. Oh, all right. All right. He's got a fireplace. It's in a box under the ashes. Harriet! Harriet! What the hell is going on here? She busted in here trying to make me. Get her out of here. Jack Hill's films have always just been, to me, just some of the funnest exploitation movies made all throughout the 70s. He was sort of like the Howard Hawks of exploitation, insofar as he always like worked in different genres. All right, he did horror films, he did women in prison films, he did black exploitation movies. You know, he is the man who discovered Pam Greer. He's Joseph von Sternberg to Pam Greer's this Dietrich, that's for sure. This rotten life, you motherfucking dope pusher. <laughs> The other director that he always reminds me of the most, and probably and some people might think it's kind of a, uh, a weird comparison, but he reminds me a lot of Sam Fuller and just the influences you can see coming out of left field in his movies. He is a guy who is responsible for setting a lot of trends. Very rare. There are very few directors like that. Are you a horror film fan, Miss Morse? Oh, yes, I love it. Dracula, Frankenstein. And the mummy? Oh, the mummy. I love the mummy. The way he walks. Step scrape. Step scrape. Oh, and the wolf man. Ah! There's going to be a full moon tonight. Schlocker, I mean, uh, if you don't need me anymore tonight, I, I could just as well stay in, down. He has um, 
a gift, you know. He has a, a special talent and he has a huge following of fans. It's amazing. He's just, um, he definitely puts his stamp on a, on a film. New around here? Maybe. Like the table? Yeah, it's okay. Too bad you have to leave. Yeah? Why? Because we don't like you dirtying up our table. got an integrity too you can tell by where he goes in the story and you really get that in pit stop which is just one of the most savagely unrelenting movies pit stop the fantastic story of the men who pit their flesh against the shrieking of tires and the grinding of steel that's one of the most amazing films from the 60s i think it's totally an unrecognized masterpiece and spider baby's right up there in that league too Well, I, uh, I, I, I know Jack, and I, 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 Jack and I both worked for Roger Corman. He was there first, of course. Uh, and <laughs> as, as much as I've enjoyed some of his later pictures, this really is my favorite Jack Hill picture. Do you like me? Uh, well, does Mr. Bruno come back? Bruno won't hate me. He promised. Spiders like bugs. But I guess bugs don't like spiders very much. I like spiders. It's remarkable. I mean, all these people who did these pictures that they thought they were doing for just a couple of, to pay the rent, you know, and nobody will ever see them, are the ones that somehow have survived, while the ones that had the mainstream titles and the mainstream plots are the ones that just sort of disappeared nobody cared about. Let me tell you, bitch. I'm only gonna say it this once, so you better listen and listen good. Listen, I said I'll cut your face up like a tomato, and it won't be the first time, you understand? That's my man you playing with. If you want a man, go out and find you one. But you try to take my man away from me, and you're asking for a lot of trouble. I don't know what you do. <laughs> Lie to me. I work hard to keep that man in school. I spent my best years, yes, mammon and no mammon, and yes, sir, and washing shit off of white people's baby. And now that he's about to strike it rich, you little tramps come around and switch your black ass and your tits, and you think you can take my man away from me? No, no, I sir. I ought to call my name on that tit, then see what he got to say the next time you plug it out for him. Oh, my God. OK, you got the message. And something to remind you of in case you start to forget. And make sure you are careful who man you fuck with the next time you fuck with somebody's man. Let me give you some advice. No. Let me give you some advice, cop. You can beat us, chain us, lock us up. But we're gonna be back, understand? And when we do, cop, you better keep your ass off our turf. Or we'll blow it up! You dig? Get the bell, Pop. Remember that name? <laughs> <laughs> 